A long time ago, a beautiful princess fell into a deep slumber for 100 years. Is there anyone to wake up the sleeping princess? The Sleeping Beauty Once upon a time, there lived a king and a queen who had no child. They prayed every day for a lovely baby. Then, one day, they got their wish and had a beautiful baby girl. Our darling girl is so precious. She's a gift from the heavens. The little princess was the apple of her parents' eyes. When the baby princess was one year old, the king and the queen decided to have a big birthday party for her. All the fairies of the land were invited, and each one gave her blessing to the princess. You shall be the most beautiful girl in the world. You shall be as kind-hearted as an angel. You shall have a lovely voice like a skylark. Suddenly, an uninvited fairy appeared, looking very angry. Uh, how can you have a party without inviting me? Sweet princess, I have a present for you as well. When you turn 15, you shall pierce your hand with a spindle. And on that day, you shall surely die. The king and the queen were horrified, but there was no way to stop the cruel fairy's terrible curse. A good fairy, who had not yet given the baby princess a present, stepped forward and spoke. I have yet to give the princess my present. When she pricks her hand, she shall not die. Instead, she will fall into a deep sleep, lasting 100 years. Then, a brave prince shall appear and awaken the princess. The king, hoping to rescue his dear child, ordered that all the spinning wheels in the entire kingdom should be destroyed. The years passed, and the little princess was 15. One day, the princess was wandering around the castle. On the top of a winding staircase, she found a dusty old attic room. In the room, an old woman was making a strange sound with a spinning wheel. The princess was fascinated by what the old woman was doing since she had never seen anything like that before in her life. Excuse me, what is that rattling so merrily? This is called a spinning wheel, dearie. Would you like to try it? When the princess touched the spinning wheel, she pricked her finger and fainted. Ouch! Didn't I say that you would die if you ever pricked your finger on the spindle? <laughs> the princess fell into a deep magical slumber, and this sleep spread over the whole palace. The king and the queen the servants, even the pet dog and cat fell asleep. With no one to look after the castle, it soon became covered with a hedge of thorns.
Time passed, and it was finally 100 years since the poor princess pricked her finger and fell asleep. A prince was passing by the castle and heard the sad story of the princess from an old man. From far and near, many princes came to the palace, although these princes tried to get through the thorny hedge to save the sleeping princess. They narrowly escaped, dying a pitiful death in the thorny hedge. I am not afraid. I will save the princess. The brave prince set his mind to go through the hedge. Then something strange happened. When the prince began to climb the huge thorny hedge, it parted and a road to the castle appeared. The prince followed up the long staircase and entered the palace. Inside the castle, all living things were asleep. The pet dog was sleeping on the rug. Birds were sleeping on the windowsill. The royal cook was snoozing with a dish still in his hand. A soldier had dozed off while he was standing guard. The king and his fair queen were fast asleep. My goodness, everyone is asleep. The prince went up to the attic room where the princess lay sleeping. Discovering the beautiful princess, he gave her a kiss on her rosy cheeks. At last, the princess awoke from a deep, deep sleep and looked at the prince sweetly. Finally, you are awake. Who are you? Fair princess, I am the prince from a nearby kingdom. When the prince and the princess came down the stairs together, everything and everyone in the castle began to awake. The dog barked. Woof, woof. The clock began to move. Tick tock, tick tock. The royal cook started to prepare a sizzling dish. And the king and the queen stretched themselves yawning. And the huge thorn hedge disappeared. You must be the brave young man who woke up our dear princess. The princess and the prince married with everyone's blessing, and they lived happily ever after. Wow! The princess met her prince after being asleep for 100 years! 